Welcome art students. Today I am going to show you how to draw a Minnesota state flower that is very beautiful. It is called the pink lady slipper and it grows out in the wild and just so you know um, they are illegal to pick you have to leave it where you see it and you can take a picture of it but you certainly can't pick it um, interesting fact is uh, their flowers on the plant take an enormous amount of time before they actually develop it actually takes several years until the flowers are able to produce on the lady slipper plant. So you might even be in the forest, maybe walking around and not even know that what you're looking at is a lady slipper because it might be a young one that hasn't aged and developed yet. Really cool. Uh, let's continue on. So you're going to need uh, a paper. And as you can see, I used a ruler, a straight edge ruler, and I measured in nicely a one inch border. As you can see, it's one inch, right? One inch. Right about, yep, see how it's one inch? Okay, so I want you to create a one inch border going all the way around your paper, um, just like how we did on the loon, if you were here for the loon drawing. All right, let's begin. So to do this, um, I think we will actually start at the base. So we are going to do these long leaves that are shaped like this. They're kind of big. Uh, and it looks like there's one, two, three, there's four leaves. And they kind of, some of the leaves might even kind of uh, curve a little bit. I'm doing this to show that it's kind of like cupping, you know, it's kind of like making it look a little more 3D. We'll shade this in darker a little bit later. Uh, and then we might even see that it twists and bends maybe a little bit down here like this. And we might think that it twists a little bit like this. So we can start thinking about where there's light hitting it and where there's shadows. Okay. Uh, we are going to then draw a stem coming up out of our leaves here. And there is one more leaf, but first... I wanted to draw my stem because I wanted to draw a leaf that goes behind it. Like that. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the head of the flower, which is really the trickiest part. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to zoom in just a little bit for you. That looks to be about right. So you can see nice and close. What we're going to need to do is right about here. We're going to create this part of the plant. And then we're going to have this come down like this. And then out from about right here, there's this sort of curvy line that comes out like this. And then we're going to have another one that kind of comes from the same area, curls outward like that. And then there's one that kind of sneaks out from underneath here, and it comes upward like this. Then we're going to like this it's 
kind of like there's these three, I would call these little petals. Actually, there's four. We're going to do another one. Just like that there. Make that one a little bit more curvy. Give it a little bit of character. Now you might see that there's some lines overlapping here. I'm going to carefully erase that part of my line right there. And that way it looks like the stem is still behind my flower petals. The big part of the flower is probably the most important part. And that is going to start right about here. It kind of curves in a little bit like that. And you know what it kind of reminds me of? If somebody's sticking out their big old tongue at you. <laughs> it literally looks like a very big tongue just hanging off the plant. It's really cool. <laughs> so here we go. So here's to our tongue. And it comes down. And it comes around and it comes all the way back up. Now this is probably the most important part of the lady slipper. Uh, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to erase this little part right here. Yeah, I think it was cool, but not as important as this petal that we just drew. Then we're going to start back up here at the top again. And we're going to kind of make this line that kind of comes down here and now you can kind of see how it looks like a tongue and uh, we'll shade this in a little bit in the next video um so there we have a lady slipper and i will stop the video right here and we will continue with adding some more details on here and then get to the coloration part I'll see you in the next video.